subscribed to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing a Tinker Crate and I'm excited to open this with you. And so if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings, which is what we're doing today to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this crate. Okay, so this month's Tinker Crate is Animation Machine. It says explore animation with a machine that turns drawings into moving pictures. So this will be a cool thing to explore with my son. And I think we have one more Tinker Crate coming and then I switched to the Eureka Crate for him. So you can look forward to that in a couple months probably, maybe next month, I'm not exactly sure. But when you open this crate, you can see the blueprints in there. And then when you open those blueprints up, we can kind of see, I guess there's a picture right here of what the machine is gonna look like. And then our blueprints give us all of our instructions in here and you read them all the way across like that. Sometimes it gets confusing. <laughs> but then we have our little magazine and it says animation science, science <laughs> over here. And so it's gonna have inside the screen, this will probably be really cool for my son to learn about as well. Cause just this kind of stuff is really cool. I haven't ever looked into it a whole lot, but it's just amazing how they put stuff together. And my husband did a fair amount of research with Disney before they had digital animation and just crazy the amount of work that has to go into it. So these are cards. I have no idea how to say that. Mori, I don't know, cards right here. And so this has some different, I don't know, this one's the alphabet. There's some circles. They're pretty thick. These are circles, but they have a hole in the middle. And they're the colors, like when you're, those old TVs, when the colors all went crazy, that's what it looks like. And then we have pieces probably to put our little machine together right here. And then some more pieces. These are plastic. Oh, these are all plastic pieces. And then we have, what's this? We have some foam and thumbtacks. That's not what these are called. Why can't I ever remember what these are called? They're brad nails, brads, whatever. I think that's what it is. And then some little clips right here. And then we have some other little things that can go in here to see him move. So this one is a shark. So this will just be cool. This is, that's what's in the crate. And I'm just excited to try it out and to see it. And I think my son will think it's really cool to see how behind it, like the movie, how a movie works, you know, and how they put everything together. So I'm gonna let him get at it and we will let you know how it goes. Okay, so Mazer finished the Tinker Crate and I think he enjoyed it. This one wasn't extremely hard and I don't feel like he was, he was not as engaged in it as he was last month. He loved the like Etch-a-Sketch thing, Etch-a-Sketch, <laughs> however you say that thing. He loved that, the little drawing board. It was so fun for him and he just played with it for days, which he doesn't usually do. This one he kind of built and was like, Meh, whatever and moved on. So I think it'll be good that we're getting the Eureka Crate probably next month, I'm not really sure. I don't know if we have another Tinker Crate coming, we might have one more left. And so it'll just be something to change it and be a little bit different because these are kind of too easy for him right now. But here is the animation machine. It is very cool looking and what it can do is cool and just way animation works is absolutely amazing. But it was very easy for him to put this together, like no joke, maybe 10 minutes. It was very, very quick. And so I have a picture in here. Let me see if you can see it. You just get this glare from my window back here, but if I can turn it and, whoop, we're dropping pieces on the floor. Sorry about that. Oh, there you go. That actually comes through better than I thought it did. So the horse, now is running backwards. Now we're running forward again, but so it's really cool. It comes with a whole bunch of these little sheets like this and they have front and back. So you just unclip up here and you slide them in 
and then you can put them around. Sorry, it just lost part of its bottom. It's down there on the floor. But I just thought it was super cool the way that it works and showing how animation works. And it also comes with these sheets right here. And you can take out this page right here. It just has the little brad things on the back so you can undo those and use this sheet and move it over the top of this. It tells you which way to position the sheet right here. And then you can see what happens. So it explains that a little bit more in this book. I think I just saw it a second ago. Let me find it. So right here, it kind of explains and shows you what you can do with those if you wanted to and you could create your own picture. It kind of tells you how to do that. So I thought that was a cool like extra thing. And then it also explains this machine a little bit more so you can kind of understand what is going on with it. So I thought that was cool. And there's some other different things in here that would be cool to read. I haven't gone through this yet and been able to read it, but it always has a lot of cool information and I just think it's fascinating the stuff that they have in here. Usually it's pretty engaging stuff. So I don't think there was anything that was really hard for him to do. For the most part, like I said, he just like put this together like that. It was so fast and then he was done. And um, yeah, I don't even know if there is something to say that was hard. I feel like all of it was pretty darn easy and he put it together and then he just put it on the shelf. <laughs> so I was like, okay, maybe he didn't enjoy it. I think also he was like, after mom films it, then we can play with it. And so he was trying to protect it. And so they'll probably play with it a little bit more in the next few days. So if I have any footage from that, I'll, I'll insert that as well. But all in all, I think it's a really, really cool idea. I think he's just a little bit done with the Tinker Crate right now. So we're excited to try something different and something that might be a little bit more hard, like engaging and trying for him, I guess, that will challenge him a little bit more. That's probably the word I'm looking for. But we had a lot of fun. And so if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.